Say it's only a paper moon Sailing over a cardboard sea But it wouldn't be make-believe If you believed in me Yes, it's only a canvas sky Hanging over a muslin tree But it wouldn't be make-believe If you believed in me Without your love It's a honky-tonk parade Without your love It's a melody played in a penny arcade It's a Barnum and Bailey world Just as phony as it can be But it wouldn't be make-believe If you believed in me Without your love, it's a honky tonk parade. Without your love, it's a melody played in a penny arcade. It's a bottom and belly world, just as phony as it can be. But it wouldn't be make believe if you believed in me. But If you believed in me Good evening and welcome to Jazz Vespers. We're here in New York City and we're glad that you're joining us from your homes. Jazz Vespers is celebrated as night begins to set, as the sun begins to set, and we're glad that we can be together in this time in prayer and in song. Perhaps you at home will set a place much as we have here, perhaps a cloth on a table, your Bible, something near and dear to your heart and certainly a candle, because as night sets, we light a candle to remind us of Christ's light shining in our midst. I invite you to light your candle now with me, saying, the light of God's growth shines and shall not be overcome.
set a watch before my mouth, O oh Lord, and guard the door of my lips. Let not my heart incline to any evil thing. Let me not be occupied in wickedness with evil doers. But my eyes are turned to you, Lord God. In you I take refuge. Strip me not of my life. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense. The lifting up of my hands as the evening Let the incense of our repentant prayer ascend before you, O God, and let your loving kindness descend upon us, that with purified hearts we might sing your praises with the church on earth and the whole heavenly host and glorify you forever and ever. A reading from St. Matthew. Jesus put before the crowds another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that someone took and sowed in his field. It is the smallest of all the seeds, but but when it has grown, it is the greatest of shrubs and becomes a tree so that the birds of the air come and make nests in its branches. He told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman took and mixed in with three measures of flour until all of it was leavened. The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field which someone found and hid Then in his joy, he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls. On finding one pearl of great value, he went and sold all that he had and bought it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net that was thrown into the sea and caught fish of every kind. When it was full, they drew it in ashore, sat down and put the good into baskets, but threw out the bad. So it will be at the end of the age, the angels will come out and separate the evil from the righteous and throw them into the furnace of fire, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Have you understood all this? They answered, yes. And he said to them, Therefore, every scribe who has been trained for the kingdom of heaven is like the master of a household who brings out of his treasure what is new and what is old.
the greatness of the Lord. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. For you, Lord, have looked with favor on me, O Lord. Servant, from this day all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation. You have shown strength with your own and scatter the proud in their conceit casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly my soul proclaims the greatness of the lord my soul the greatness of the Lord. You have filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. You have come to the aid of your servant Israel to remember the promise of mercy. The promise made, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children and his children forever. My soul proclaims the greatness of. I invite you to join me now, remembering those people, those places in need of our prayer. After each petition, I invite you to speak those needs either silently in your heart or aloud, assured that God hears them. For the church, for those common places in which the church is found, as small as mustard seeds, become as large as a great tree. for the illumination and the wisdom of science and of care for this planet, our Earth, our common home. for the human family, for all those who long to find a place to call home, 
for all those who wait and watch for justice. For those who are sick, those who are neglected, those with nowhere to sleep this night, that we might see them as God sees them, as priceless as the pearl in the field. In thanksgiving for those common saints and for those saints with, who tower before us, for the saints that are close to us, who we hold in our hearts, that with Mary, Mother of God, we might be knit together in that one great communion in which we all have place. Everything I have is yours. You're a part of me. Everything I have is yours. My destiny. the sun to you if the sun were only mine I would gladly give the earth to you and the stars that shine Everything that I possess, I offer you. Let my dream of happiness come. Just to spend my life waiting at your beck and call. Everything I have is yours, my life, my.
everything that I possess, I offer you. Let my dream of happiness come true. I'd be happy just to spend my life waiting at your beck and call. Everything I have is yours, my life, my In those times that confound us, St. Paul writes that the Spirit helps us. Helps us, intercedes for us with sighs too deep for words. The depth of God's wisdom, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Bless us this night and always. search the faces of the people he'd meet for one he could recognize brother where are you they told me that you came this way brother brother where are you they said you came Now the eyes of the people that passed him by were cold and hard as stone. And the poor child whimpered and began to cry because he was all alone. He cried, brother, brother, where are you? They told me that you came this way. Sister, where are you? They said you came this way. Now there are many people who swear it's true that brothers are we all. Yet it seems there are a very few that will answer to a brother and sister's call. I said, brother, where are you? They told me you came this way. Brother, brother, where are you? They said you came this way.
is true Brothers and sisters are we all Yet it seems there are very few Who will answer to our call I said, brother, where are you? They told me that you came this way Sister, where are you? I'm so glad you came So glad you came this way So glad you came this way I was feeling so all alone So glad you came this way